So if you're watching this, you've probably built and deployed an application with bolt.new. The problem you've run into is when you deploy that app, it actually gives you a domain that looks like this. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you could add your own custom domain that looks like this. So this way that you could actually launch this to your clients or begin selling your software. And do not worry, this is gonna be a very simple tutorial. I'm not a technical person. I'm gonna show you how to do it. I did it myself in like five minutes. All right, let's get right into it. All right, so first of all, I wanna show you why you want to add your own custom domain and what a custom domain is if you don't necessarily know anything about kind of web development. Let's say we built our Airbnb clone here on bolt.new. This is all set up. Obviously, it's very, very simple. This is a one prompt response of what Bolt built us, but just to show you, you're gonna click deploy up here, and when you click deploy, it's actually going to set up a domain on Netlify. Essentially, it's going to send you a link, and as you can see, this is the domain it gives me and I could view this now as its own kind of web application kind of it looks like it's its own website essentially and you can see this right here is domain and it looks very weird it says netlify.app a bunch of different like words and numbers we want to make this look clean with like airbnb clone.com or something like that so I'm going to show you how you could actually make it look like this you could see the same exact site however deployed and then connected netlify instead of it looking like this it now looks like this Airbnb slash clone.com. I bought this domain for $15. You could either connect your own dom domain that you already have set up, or you could buy one easily through bolt.new and Netlify, which is what I did and what I'm gonna show you in this video. All right, so first thing first, I'm inside of bolt.new and I'm coming over to write what I wanna build. And I'm basically saying build me an Airbnb clone app. This is where you will write in natural language what you're trying to build as far as your application. This, I'm just gonna do a very simple use case so I could show you um, the full process. I'm not gonna actually build the app um, from scratch. You can see it's now writing the code and it'll quickly give us a preview. And this is actually the application that it give, gives us. It looks like a nice little Airbnb clone application. All right, that looks great. Now let's come over to deploy when we're ready to launch our app and click this blue button and it should start deploying our application now. Give it a couple seconds and it actually gives us this URL that has been deployed to. Now, if you could see, it's a weird looking URL. We do not want this. We actually want to add our own custom domain. So I'm coming back over to Bolt and basically saying, help me add my own custom domain. So it could hopefully walk us through step by step. Next, what we wanna do, we wanna come over to Netlify, make sure you sign up with an account, come over to your sites and then click on the one you just deployed. And you can see that it's going to say, set up a custom domain here. We wanna click on this. Here's where we're gonna type out the domain we wanna actually use. I tested airbnb-clone.com to see if this is actually available. It says it's actually available. So what I did, I went ahead and added my payment method and I went ahead and paid for this domain. And as you can see, it is now ours. If we come over to our sites and then we click on that site that we just deployed, it will actually give us a URL with our custom domain. And as you can see, it is now working properly. Cool thing with Netlify is it actually sets up your DNS record so you do not have to. All right, so the last thing we actually need to update is we need to update kind of what our name of our application is. You can see it shows Vite plus React plus TS. Here in Google Chrome, our, our custom domain is looking proper, but we need to change this as well because obviously that does not look good. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna come over to our bolt.new app here, and then we're gonna come over to code, click index.html, and we wanna edit this right here. We could either just delete this and add what we want, and then let's name this airbnb-clone.com. All right, let's just do Airbnb clone, preview this, and actually let's deploy this again and see if this is working. All right, there we go. This, our app is now updated with our new title. All right, guys, there we go. We have our new application. You could see that our custom domain is set up, airbnb slash clone.com, as well as we have the title of our application up here, set to our domain. So if you guys got value from this video, make sure to leave a like, leave a comment about any new Bolt videos you guys wish to see. Um, I'm getting a lot of inquiries. Also, if you guys have an app you want built, but you can't seem to build it with Bolt, make sure to speak with my agency. There is a link in the description. I have an agency that actually builds full applications for you using Bolt and other platforms. So if you're running into obstacles, that might be a great way for you to actually have your app built out for you. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more Bolt content like this. This whole channel is AI for non-techies. That sounds right for you. Subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.